Hi, my darlings. How are you? This is going to be for my Capricorns, and this is going to be a message for whenever it reaches you. I'll be using my Cosmic Tarot deck. There'll be no clarification, and then I'll pull you a card from the Psychic Tarot Oracle deck. So, Capricorn, let's see what message or messages we have for you. To all of you stopping by, I thank you and I welcome you with open arms and an open heart. Thank you so very much for spending time with us. Darlings, please take what resonates and leave what does not. Okay, not every reading will be for you. And also remember that these cards are not etched in stone. Anything can change. It's totally up to you. And it can change because we have free will. So Capricorn, this is for you. Death card. This is not what it says. This is just transformation, okay? Change, the ending of something, the beginning of something new. The Prince of Pentacles. Pay attention to the details, okay? Got the Three of Swords. It's a three-person situation here. There's sadness, and there's another person involved. The Ten of Swords, in the past you were feeling like this in regards to the situation, but that's gone. You're not feeling like that right now. However, you are thinking or you have walked away from the situation. I don't know which situation it is. You got the Eight of Swords. You got the Six of Pentacles. You're going to find balance. Don't you worry about that. However, darling, this moment here. It's going to cause some chaos and confusion. It's going to shake things up. It's going to shake some things up. Okay, babies. Always remember, though, sometimes in life, not sometimes, every time things shake up and break down or feel like they're broken down, it's nothing to do but to build them back stronger. You will overcome this. I know I sound like just by a snap of finger, you're going to overcome it. No, you won't. Okay, but you will. Trust and believe I've had many tower moments, okay? And you feel really horrible inside and you feel like, like oh my God, you want to like just shrink up, you know? But you do overcome it, okay? You pull yourself back in. You got the eight of wands coming out of it or something coming fast. Are you getting out of that situation really fast? The nine of pentacles giving birth to your dreams, Moving into a new home, there's a key in her hand. But whatever it is, you're seeing the benefits of your hard work. You got the moon. Things were revealed or things will be revealed. You got the eight of pentacles, the four of cups, and you got the queen of cups. You deepen your head about this water energy here. A Pisces, a Cancer, a Scorpio. You're very focused. You're manifesting. I don't know if it's finances or if you're just deep in thought about this, this energy here. You got the Eight of Pentacles. And if you look at her here, you know, I mean, she's like really deep. And then this looks very emotional. And then that's the Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Or maybe the situation that's going on has you feeling emotional. You got the Ten of Wands, you got the Seven of Pentacles, and you got the Ace of Pentacles. <laughs> Whatever this situation is, it's a pretty tough situation you're in. It has you feeling like this, trapped. You got the Seven of Pentacles, it has you feeling empty and out in the cold, like you don't have, like nothing, you know, like just nothing. But this here is worry. Okay, you need to stop worrying. Stop worrying about the money. All right. Because you got a new financial opportunity upon you. So you stop the worrying. All right. Things will have a way of straightening out. 
Change is difficult. Transformation is difficult. Shoot. You know, if this is a breakup and it's two salaries and suddenly it's yours, you know, I mean, my goodness, you know, it's like. But let's see. What other message do we have for Capricorn? Triumph. Triumph. The power of your soul is pushing and nudging you steadily forward. Whether you're setting new goals, developing ideas, or planning a journey, it's essential that it's carefully thought out. When you tap into your inner guidance and balance, it will self-balance. When you tap into your inner guidance and balance, it will self... Okay, when you tap into your inner guidance and balance, it will... Um, oh my God. When you tap into... <laughs> Forgive me for this. Oh my goodness. I ain't laughing. I'm not laughing at you. I just can't get the words, you know, to sound right. So let me read it again. When you tap into your inner guidance and balance it with self-control, hard work, and perseverance, it's likely to manifest a triumphant outcome. There we go. It's time for you to be single-minded and focused on the end goal. Visualize the successful results as if it were happening right now. When you've achieved what you've set out to do, your ability to meet other life challenges will significantly increase. When you try to move forward without balance, direction, or guidance, it's easy to slip off your intended path and be drawn away from the desired goal. Now is not the time to let go or allow the river of life to pull you into its current, as you can so easily lose control. Grab your oars, grip them tightly, and steer carefully towards your highest aim or destination. The Triumph card reminds you that you don't have to be alone with all of life's ups and downs and the challenges that you face. This is a time to tap into the powerful knowledge of others as well as to use your inner resources that are within you. This card signifies that chariot things happening at great speed as well i love you guys you take care of yourselves and things do have a way of working out no matter what we're going through it's up to you only self can change things i love you guys you take care and we will chat soon